And now, for everyone's favorite game show, it's Two What's and a Wow! The scientific game show that separates the wows from the what's. And the category for today is food. Mindy, why don't you remind our studio audience on how the game works? You know it. Wowzers, in each of our three rounds today, Guy Raz and I will present you with three scientific statements about food. But, and this is a big but, only one of those statements will be a true wow. The other two, just a couple of made up what? <laughs> In each round, if you guess correctly, congratulations, you get a point. But if you guess wrong, you gotta stop, drop, and do a redonkulous physical challenge. Okay, everyone ready to start the game? Great, then let's get started. Okay, round one. Which of the following statements is a true scientific wow? Is it A, the first oranges were green? Or is it B, if you swallow an apple seed, you may grow an apple in your belly? Or is it C, the kiwi fruit is the official bird of New Zealand? When you think you have the answer, spell it out in a bowl of alphabet soup. Oh, Reggie. <laughs> Cue the thinking music. <laughs> and time is up. It's now time to reveal the winning wow. And to do just that, joining us by phone, it's Vivian from Idaho. Vivian, what's the wow? My wow in the world is that the first oranges weren't orange, they were green. Winner, winner, green oranges for dinner! Thank you, Vivian! Contestants, if you guessed the answer A, that the first oranges were green, you found the winning wow. Congratulations! It turns out some of the first oranges in South Asia were actually green. Ah, the origins of oranges. Ugh, it's a tongue twister. Yeah. Try saying that one ten times fast. Okay. Origin of oranges, origin of oranges, origin of oranges, origin of oranges. Am I doing it? Am I doing it? Ah, Dennis! Oh. Backstage. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Continue. Anywho, contestants, if you did not get the answer correct, you must stop, drop, and smell your own armpits. <gasps> Uh-huh, well, uh, time now for round two. Which of the following statements is a true scientific wow? Is it A, a potato chip in Iceland was once sold for one million US dollars? Or is it B, ancient Egyptians used moldy bread to heal infections? Or is it C, it was illegal to serve pepperoni pizza in some U.S. states in the 1920s. When you think you have the answer, stand on your tippy toes. <laughs> Reggie! <laughs> Cue the thinking music. <laughs> and time is up. It's now time to reveal the winning wow. And to do just that, joining us by phone, it's Dax from Colorado. Dax, what's the wow? My wow in the world is the Egyptians use moldy bread to fight infections. Winner, winner, moldy bread for dinner! Thank you, Dax. Contestants, if you guessed the answer B, that ancient Egyptians used moldy bread to fight infections, 
You found the winning wow. Congratulations. Ancient Egyptians were really onto something with that moldy bread. Thousands of years later, a scientist named Alexander Fleming would discover that mold can help fight some harmful types of bacteria. This discovery led to the antibiotics that we use today. Amazing! Yeah, I guess you could say that ancient Egyptians really molded modern medicine, huh? <laughs> now, if you did not get the answer correct, you must stop, drop, and write your name using only your feet. <laughs> but first, let's take a moment to thank one of our sponsors for today's show. Ah, yes. Today's show is brought to you in part by Grandma G-Force's pungent perfume. Oh. Making people sneeze since 1938. <laughs> oh, nice. Well, uh, time for round three. Which of the following statements is a true scientific wow? Is it A, cupcakes were invented by a doctor? Or is it B, ketchup was once used to treat diarrhea? Or is it C, the world's largest pancake weighed more than two elephants? When you think you have the answer, shout it out as loud as you can with your mouth closed. Reggie! <laughs> Cue the thinking music. <laughs> and time is up. To reveal the winning answer, it's Aria from California. Aria, tell us, what's the wow? My wow in the world is that ketchup was once used to treat diarrhea. Winner, winner, ketchup for dinner! Thank you, Aria! Contestants, if you guessed the answer B, that ketchup was once used to treat diarrhea, you found the winning wow! Congratulations! In the 1830s, Dr. John Cook Bennett proposed the idea to sell ketchup as a way to treat stomach ailments like indigestion and... Diarrhea. Well, you know what they say, Guy Raz. A handful of fries smothered in Heinz helps the medicine go down. <laughs> Is that what they say? I'm not sure I've heard of that one. Now, contestants, if you did not get the answer correct, you must stop, drop, and recite the entire alphabet backwards while jumping rope. Say, W! <laughs> Mindy, did, did you hear that? That sound can mean only one thing, Guy Raz. That someone used the restroom? No! It's time for today's Bonker Balls bonus round. And the question for this round is... Why does trying to spread cold butter on toast always rip up the bread? Well, is there an answer to that? Well, if there is, I'm still trying to find it. Well, uh, congratulations to all of our winning contestants on today's show. All of our contestants today will be given a fabulous invisible prize. Reggie, it's time to roll out the prize generator. You know the drill, contestants. To celebrate your presence here today, we are about to give you some presents. When I press this button, oops, wrong button. When I press this button, the prize generator will spit your prize out in three different parts. So, uh, some assembly required. All of our contestants today will be taking home their very own invisible Rock solid, jalapeno flavored almond milk. So wait, a block of spicy almond milk? I don't know. Well, uh, <laughs> that's uh, just about all the time we have for today. But before we go, we have a little scientific challenge for you. We call it Operation Taste. For this one, we challenge you to explore your sense of taste. We humans can sense five basic tastes. Sweet, 
salty, bitter, sour, and umami. Along with some family or friends, test out some of your favorite tastes and then try to mix them together. Yeah, like adding some sweet maple syrup to garlic toast. Or adding some sour apples to a bitter kale smoothie. Record your findings with a photo or video and report back to us. Grown-ups, you can upload pictures and videos to us at tinkercast.com slash share. And be sure to come back on Monday for a brand new episode of Wow in the World. And again on Friday for a new episode of Two What's and a Wow. Until then, keep on!